Hi guys, how have you been? If you are new to my channel, I am Narmata, a mom of two girls. Please join us as we take you along our daily life and a lot more. Weekends are really slow and relaxing in our house. We usually do a lot of activities with our kids to keep them away from gadgets. Which is a challenge these days, isn't it? <laughs> Today we are taking them for vegetables and fruit picking in a farm. We enjoy it as a family. I'm going to make spicy baby potato roast and uh, Thai sweetened chili noodles for lunch. I'm going to leave the potato skin on because it makes the roast really crunchy and it's very tasty as well. I will add a teaspoon of oil and mix it really well. I want all the potatoes to be coated in the masala. And this needs to marinate for half an hour. Fresh curry leaves give a wonderful flavor to the oil. We can also add some lemon juice and a little bit of coriander leaves as well. London has got quite a few farms where you can pick your own vegetables during the spring and summer months. You can pick raspberries, strawberries, apples and a wide variety of fresh vegetables. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go down the very loose one. Okay, take it, take it. Mm. Can you pull it? Taking the kids to farms teaches them the value of food and the science behind agriculture and farming. We have had so much fun today. I'm going to make a yummy, yummy strawberry cake. I'm making a strawberry compote. If you make it fresh, then your cake will be tasting amazing.
short cake dough is very different from the regular cake batter you need to make it like a scones dough I'm using these two sandwich tins. I've buttered and floured them. I need to really press it down into the tin. Ice packs. Ice packs. You need to pour water. Hmm. And it will become ice. And then you have to put it inside there. Okay. Oh. Hey. There's nothing inside. So here comes. Ta da! Ta -da. Two cups of whipping cream and one fourth cup of icing sugar goes in. We are decorating the cake with the strawberry compote that I already made and the icing, everything. My kids love to decorate cakes. It's one of their favorite activities. If you have a bad day, even if you have an all or nothing mentality, then do these following things to turn your day into a good and productive day. Number one, the first thing I do is wash my face in cold water. Just splash water onto your face. Believe me, it makes you feel better instantly. That shock from cold water refreshes your thoughts. And look in the mirror and say loudly, I'm starting over. Then I go to my closet and change my clothes. A different outfit can help you feel like a new day is starting. Make a small, simple task that needs to be completed at home or at work. Something like making your bed or putting your dirty clothes at the laundry rack, washing one dirty dish. It has to be short and simple that you can complete. Do not turn it into a long distraction of cleaning your entire house to avoid working or studying. Just do one small thing. It can help you feel that you are already switching the day up doing something productive without wasting much time. It changes your mind. When I am in the office and if I want to change my bad mood, then I either go to a quick walk around the block or sometimes run up and down the stairs for 5 minutes or sometimes do some stretches at the bathroom if there is no other option. I hope this helps you. Stop worrying and enjoy your life. Life is given to us to live it. So let's live it and to the fullest.